As noted in the uh, video of Secretary Wilson's speech at the Air Force uh, Association last September, visionaries like Hap Arnold set us on a path that we, were, we are on today. During World War II, the Germans advanced scientific research quickly. And Hap Arnold saw this and realized the future success of the Air Force depends on scientific research and development. So, as she suggested, in 1944, General Arnold reached out to Theodore von Karman, a non-military engineer, to help the United States advance technology faster. General Arnold realized that, and I quote, and I believe Secretary Wilson talked about this, but this is a, an, an area of emphasis for what we're trying to achieve. The technical genius which could help find answers uh, for General Arnold was not cooped up in military or civilian bureaucracy, but was to be found in universities and the people at large, end quote. In response, von Karman reached outside the government particularly to universities and in industries to form a group of scientists who would remarkably foresee technology of today's Air Force. The technologies von Karman identified more than 70 years ago turned the Air Force into the world's dominant air power and are the foundation that keeps America safe today. The Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable Heather Wilson, is a student of history and recognized the value of that strategic thinking. She's tasked the Air Force Research Lab with conducting this study to scan the horizon of science and technology and to draft that science and technology strategy for the Air Force. This strategic plan will serve as a roadmap for Air Force science and technology to ensure we maintain our technological advantage and meet the national security needs for 2030 and beyond. The reality of today is that many of the United States adversaries are advancing technology faster than we are. To stay ahead, we must continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. We must innovate smarter and faster. And we're willing to learn new ways of doing business to get at that. The US Air Force is looking to you, our country's university scientific researchers and industry partners, to help us invent the technologies that will keep all of us safe as we move into the future. While the Air Force takes pride in its strong research staff and, and current pursuits of science and technology and innovation, we know, as General Hap Arnold did, that leveraging the innovation and scientific brilliance uh, of research communities outside the government is essential to maintaining dominance in areas important to the Air Force mission. So, quite frankly, we are relying on all of you. That is why we are working to streamline our business practices and processes so that we can better partner with you. While we are working to make it easier for you to collaborate with us, we're counting on you to work hard on developing the next great scientific ideas. The stakes are too high not to work this way. Our national security and American way of life depend on our ability to innovate quickly and stay on the cutting edge of science. In the past, nuclear weapons, stealth technology, and precision guided munitions have enabled an, advanced, or enabled an advantage over our adversaries and secured our dominance on the battlefield. Through this study, we hope to work with you and identify the next major technological breakthroughs that will maintain our dominance on the battlefield. Together, we lay the groundwork for the science and technology that will define the future of our Air Force for 2030 and beyond. This forum today is the beginning to identify the Air Force's uh, opportunity to listen, engage, and explore the collaborative ideas. I want to personally thank you all for answering this call uh, to attend this forum and help your United States Air Force move into the future.